Hi, this is Tor Lacey with a lecture about topographic maps. Our main learning objectives include use contour lines to interpret slopes and the shapes of landforms, use contour lines to determine elevations and the relief, and use contour lines to identify erosional and depositional landforms. Let's look at some examples of map themes. Political maps show the geographic boundaries of countries and large or important cities. Climate maps show the geographic distribution of different types of climates. Street maps are used for navigating by automobile and are probably the theme we are most familiar with. Topographic maps depict the configuration and shape of Earth's surface. This is done with the use of contour lines. Contour lines are the definitive characteristic of topographic maps. These lines are shown in brown on land or blue on water and are drawn so they connect points of equal elevation. With a little practice, a viewer can interpret the elevation, slope, and shape of the landscape. Every fifth contour line is an index contour which is used to index or indicate the elevation along that contour line and is indicated with a thicker, more heavily weighted line. The contour interval is the amount in feet of elevation gain or loss from one contour line to another. On this map, the contour lines become more closely spaced from west to east, with the most closely spaced lines indicating the mountain front. North is typically directly towards the top of the map. Contour lines that contain hachures represent a closed depression, like the crater at the top of a volcano. Let's check our ability to interpret contour lines. On the left are landforms depicted by contour lines from a map view perspective. Think of yourself as an airborne bird looking down on Earth's surface. On the right are what these landforms look like from the side, also known as a cross-section or profile view. Please pause the video and quiz yourself by matching the numbered landforms on the left with their lettered equivalent on the right. Pause now. Map scale indicates how distances on the map relate to distances in real life. A map with a fractional scale of 1 to 2,500, for example, means one unit of measure on the map, say an inch, is equal to 250,000 of that same unit in real life. Smaller scale maps, like 1 to 250,000, show more area but less detail. In comparison to larger scale maps that show more detail but less area. Topographic maps always have a graphical or scale bar which are used to quickly estimate the distances between two different places on a map. Contour lines allow for the steepness of slopes to be calculated. Knowing the steepness, also called the gradient, can be helpful when planning development of the landscape, such as homes or roads. They can also help Earth scientists make important interpretations and predictions about the geologic conditions of the landscape. You might recall solving rise over run problems in math class. This same logic is used to calculate gradient as summarized in these steps. I hope you enjoyed this presentation about topographic maps. Thank you for listening.